It's hard to imagine the massacre in San Bernardino could have been worse, but today the police revealed that the husband and wife murder team brought this bomb to that social services building. It was rigged to a remote control toy car to act as a wireless trigger. Police say they also found this bag of pipe bombs in the suspect's home and a stockpile of ammunition. Saeed Farouk and his wife opened fire on Farouk's co-workers, County Department of Health employees at a holiday office party. We received their names today. 14 were killed. One of them, Daniel Kaufman, ran a coffee shop in the building. Nicholas Thalassinos was remembered for his compassion. And Michael Wetzel leaves behind six children. 19 were wounded, plus two law enforcement officers who were hurt in the shootout with the suspects. We have extensive coverage from a team of correspondents, and first we'll go to Carter Evans in San Bernardino. Carter? Scott, the FBI has flown in a special team from Washington to reenact and reconstruct the crime scene. They're also going to be analyzing digital evidence to try and get a better understanding of why this married couple opened fire on a crowd of innocent people. Oh my gosh. The rampage ended on a residential street in a hail of gunfire. <laughs> when it was over, the two suspects were dead. But police say the couple left behind an arsenal of weapons, 6,700 bullets inside their home, along with 12 pipe bombs and enough materials and tools to build several more, according to San Bernardino Police Chief Jared Bergwan. Chief, do you believe they were planning another attack? We don't know. Clearly, they were equipped and they could have continued to, to do another attack. Um, we intercepted them before that happened. But police say Saeed Farouk and his wife Tashfin Malik parked a rented black Ford Expedition at 11 a.m. in the parking lot behind the south building of the Inland Regional Center. They walked through unlocked doors directly into the room where the holiday party was underway. Investigators say the two were wearing masks and black tactical clothing armed with semi-automatic rifles. When they entered, fired somewhere between 65 and 75 rounds. Uh, from their rifles at the scene. Did they appear to be targeting anyone in particular? They sprayed the room with bullets, so I don't know if there was any one person that they ultimately targeted. But sources tell CBS News health department managers were the first ones shot. The couple left behind three pipe bombs tied together and connected to a remote control car. Police believe it malfunctioned. There was no explosion. Witnesses who worked with Farouk told police he attended the party but left early. Where that came from, was uh, another person that was in the building that knew him, that identified him by name, who expressed some concern over his behavior prior to the event. Police put his home under surveillance and gave chase when they spotted the black SUV. Holy Cell phone video God. captured the gunfire that erupted. Oh, the couple fired at least 75 rounds at police. A total of 23 officers returned fire with 380 rounds, killing Farouk and his wife. Inside the SUV, officers found two AR-15 semi-automatic rifles and two 9mm pistols, along with 1,600 rounds. Now, initially, police thought a third suspect might still be on the loose, but Scott, today they are confident there is no remaining threat at this time. Carter Evans, thanks.